Question number 12. Diagram 6 shows a model. The model consists of a vertical wall, A, B, C, D. So this one is a vertical wall and horizontal floor, C, D, E, F. So this one is a horizontal floor. So when you see this, what you know is one is a vertical wall, one is a horizontal wall. So this is also 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree between the wall and the floor. C, D, E, F. C, D, E, F is a parallelogram. So parallelogram means these two are parallel and these two are parallel. Okay. Question A. Calculate the length in cm of C, C, F. So we are looking for this length here, C, F. So what can we do? Okay. So since this is 35 cm, we know this is also 35 cm. Okay. And because this is a parallelogram, we know that this 30 degree here is the same as the 30 degree here. This is also 30 degree. Why? Because when you have parallel lines, you can form a few, there are a few properties for parallel lines. First one is like this, like Z, Z shape. So this angle here, let's say if this is 50, here is a 50. Okay, so Z shape. So you can actually see the Z shape here. So this angle here should be the same as this. Okay. Alright. And also, I mean, there are also other properties, which, uh, okay, I just recap. Lah. This, another parallel line property is this. It's like F shape. So this angle here is the same as this angle here. Okay. And then there's one more uh, parallel line property, which is C shape. It's like like this. Okay, it's like a C shape here. So, but this is not the same. This one is the sum of the two angles here. The interior angle is 180. So, these are the three properties of uh, parallel lines. Okay, so in this case, we are using the Z shape. The Z shape one. Okay, this same as this. We call it the alternate angle. Okay, anyway. So, we know that this is 30 degree. So, what else can we do to solve, uh, to find CF? So, what we can do is, since we have this, uh, since we have 35 degree, since we have 35 degree, we have the angle opposite the 35 degree, which is this 80 degree, and we have 30 degree and we are looking for this CF here. So we can actually use sine rule. Why sine rule? Because I told you, I told you all before when to use sine rule, when to use cosine rule. Sine rule is when you can form a pair, a pair between the length and the angle and the length and the angle and the two length angle must be opposite each other okay the length and angle must be opposite each other then you form a pair so when you have two pairs then you can use sine rule cosine rule is when you have three length there's an x y z and also one angle okay let's say a okay so you got three length one angle that's when you use cosine rule okay Never mind, we'll have a, if there's question like this, you'll understand later. But for now, since we have a pair, we're going to use sine rule. So question A. Sine rule, we're going to form a pair between these two and also the CF and the 30 degree. So sine CF, eh, sorry, sine, uh, no, no. We use CF, a CF over sine 30 equals to 35 over sine 80. Okay, for those who don't know the formula, sine A over A equals sine B over B. Okay, so you can also flip it. Okay, you can also flip it. So I be, I basically flip it. Lah. Okay. Alright. So to find CF, I bring the sine 30 the other side. So I get 35 times sine 30 divided by sine 80. So you should get your answer 17.77 cm. Okay, so this is the first part. Question A1. Question A2, what are you looking for? Area of ACE. ACE, where is ACE? Okay, ACE is here. A, C, Okay, so this is a funny looking triangle. It's basically a floating triangle. Okay, since we are looking for area, so you guys know that 
there's one formula for area of triangle right that you guys use the area is 1 over 2 a b sine c okay when to use this is when you have a triangle you have for example let's say a and b here and you have the angle here c okay so the the two sides that you're using is next to the uh, angle okay when you have this three one angle and then two two sides next to it you can use this formula to find area okay however this question here you don't have if you're looking for ACE you don't have any of the sides and you don't have any of the angle so it's, it's going to be quite difficult for you to use this formula so what we can do is we can use another formula that you have also learned but we don't use as much and the formula is the Heron formula so Heron's formula is you, there are two steps there's two steps you need to find the S value then you find the area what is the S value if you got a triangle and let's say all the sides A, B, C to find the S value you have to take A plus B plus C divided by 2 this is when you get the S value okay whatever the answer is this represents the S value then how are you going to solve the area is you're going to square root S bracket and then you're going to take S minus all the length so S minus A S minus B S minus C you do all this and then you square root you get the answer for your area got it so we're going to do that because we can find all the length we can find all the side lengths it's quite easy to find okay so we're going to do that so first step we need to find all the sides first okay so we find let's say we find okay we have three sides here we have AC side AC we have to find we have to find side A E okay we have to find side A E and we also have to find side what is that C E yes we have to find side C E C E okay we have to find three of these sides then only we can use the Heron formula so A C we can do Pythagoras theorem because we know this 3 this is 35 so you got the triangle here okay right angle triangle so we just use Pythagoras theorem so 4 square plus 35 square square root you should get 18 wait, uh, oh, wait a minute no not 18 square root I'm gonna use I'm just gonna write in insert formula 1 2 4 1 okay AE AE is uh, also another Pythagoras theorem because it's right angle triangle AE is here a right angle triangle so we can use 4 square plus so this should be this DE length should be same as CF right so CF we already found from question A just now A1 so it's 17.77 square so we get 18.2146 okay the last one CE now CE is not so straightforward because it's not a it's not a right angle triangle so what we can do let's see um, we are looking for that oh you know what we can do we can use cosine root okay why we can use cosine root because we are looking for CE right we are looking for CE we have the angle opposite CE okay and we have the CF and we have the FE this is 35 lah, basically this is 17.77 so we have and this angle here is uh, 8 plus 3 is 110 so we have three of these and then on top of that the length we are looking for is this C, CE so like I said when you have three sides and also I mean you, know, you have the length of the three sides and also the angle one of the angle you can find you can use cosine rule okay so we're gonna do that Wait, uh, let me erase all this first okay so okay let me just redraw we have 110 here and then C the CF is 17.77 and then FE is 35 and then we're looking for C this is CE okay so CE will be equals to 
sev- I hope you all are familiar with the formula. If not, you all can go and check back. Okay? Uh, the formula is 17.77 square plus 35 square minus 2 times 17.77 times 35 cos 110. Then don't forget to square root. So, the answer is 44.342. Okay, 34, uh, 44.342 cm. Alright. Now, we can, now that we have all three lengths, we can find the S value. S value equals to all three plus together. 1, 2, 4, 1 plus 18.2146 plus 44.342 divided by 2 okay you will get 48.89 oh no space here 48.8922 okay so this represents the s value so now we can wait uh, Now we can find the area. Area equals to square root. So S value is 48.8922 times. So S value going to minus all of the length. Huh? I'm going to minus all of the length. So 48.8922 minus square root 1241 times 48.8922 minus the second length is what 18.2146 and then times 48.8922 sorry i cram cram everything here because i got no space already minus the third length is what ce 44.34 44.34 then you square root all of them okay again i apologize uh, because i got no space already so i'm just cramping but the main thing is you guys understand the concept uh. the formula is what find the s value add up all the length then divide by 2 and then the formula for area is you take s this is the s value times s minus each of the length s mi minus each of the length okay then you square root the whole thing so the answer you will get is 305.38 cm square. Okay, so this is your answer.